I'm pretty sure these right here are the top four most debated math things on the internet. And I asked you guys to tell me which one is the worst, and I'll show you the result at the end of the video. But let's just go over this right here first. The first one is 0 to a 0 power. The usual debate is, is this equal to 1? Or we don't have an answer for that, so undefined. I used to say 0 to a 0 power, if we are not talking about limit, then this right here will be undefined. But later on, as I learn more, it also makes a lot of sense to say it's 1. Especially if you want to say, let's just take a convention, such as when you do power series, let's just take 0 to a 0 to be 1, right, as a convention or definition for none, you know. I really don't have a good answer for this right here. I will tell you 0 to a 0. I think the best answer that I can tell you is that this right here has no agreement. So that will be my response. In another word, that's this, that's agree to disagree. So yeah. All right, next. Square root of 1. Is it 1 or do we say this is plus or minus 1? When we have just a symbol, right, the square root symbol and a 1 right here, you're supposed to just give the positive answer. So the answer for that is just 1 for that. Again, this right here is the positive square root or the principal square root, and you're supposed to just give the positive answer for that. You get plus or minus 1 if you're trying to solve the equation. Let's say x squared is equal to 1, and then you take the square roots both sides, and you attach a plus minus to solve the equation. And then you cancel this out, and then you say x is equal to plus or minus 1. Because both of this, when you plug in, you square that, you end up with 1. So if you want to find out all the square roots, if you want to find out all square roots, square roots of 1, then I will also say the answer for this right here is plus or minus 1. This is fine because I'm talking about all the square roots. So we will have two of them. But if it is just this symbol, then seriously, just answer it as 1. And if you don't like this so much, then I will have to ask you. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, if you want to say square root of 1 is equal to plus or minus 1, then how are you going to answer the cube root of 8? Are you going to just answer it with 2? Or are you going to say 2 and also what? Um, plus or minus... Sorry, negative 1 plus or minus i square root of 3. Yeah, are you going to just, whenever you encounter that, are you going to just give like three answers like this? Right? Again, if you have just a symbol, please just give the real number. Just make it easy for that. I will say that. And plus, when you have just this, it's meant to be an operation only. So you are supposed to just give an answer. Next one, 0 0.999 repeating. Is it equal to 1 or not equal to 1? Ready? It's equal to 1. Because you have to understand what this means. This means uh, geometry series. So if you take a look right here, it means that we are trying to do 0 0.9 plus 0 0.09 plus 0 0.009 and so on, so on, so on. So as you can see, this right here, each time we just multiply by 10 to get to the next one. And this geometry series converges because the common ratio has the absolute value less than 1. So this right here will converge to the first term, which is 0 0.9, divided by 1 minus the common ratio, which is 1 over 10. And then if you work this out, this is just 0 0.9 over 1 minus 0 0.1. So this is just 0 0.9 as well, because this is 0 0.1. So we get 1. This is a notation for this, which represents a geometry series. And the answer for that is indeed equal to 1. So that's for sure equals 1. I know this is the real number and that's also a real number. They look different, but in fact, they are equal. Another way to argue that they are indeed equal is that if they are not equal, then can you find a number between 0 0.99 and 1? I don't think so. So they must be equal. Okay. Lastly, oh my goodness, 12 divided by 3 parentheses 4. 
So, how do people get 16? Let's talk about this right here first. If you look at 12 divided by 3 and then parentheses 4, people usually tell you to do the parentheses first. So they see that, okay, we see the 3 parentheses 4, that is 12, and then, but, sorry, wrong, <laughs> wrong order. How do people get 1 first right here? They will just say 12 divided by 3 parentheses 4. They will tell you do the parentheses first. 3 parentheses 4 is just 3 times 4, which is 12. And then you bring down this 12, and then you divide, and the answer is 1, right? But let me tell you, this is not correct. When people say do the parentheses first, we are trying to say do the inside of the parentheses first. But inside here is just a number 4. There's nothing to do. So this parentheses means that we have a multiplication. So in fact, this right here means we have 12 divided by 3, and then let's use the little baby x right here for multiplying 4. And then based on the order of operations, when we see division and multiplication, they are on the same level. So it just proceed from left to right. So this right here is 4, and then times 4, so it ends up with 16. And this right here is indeed the answer. And you might be wondering, why do we really just proceed from left to right? Um, how about the pandas or all that? Here, we have to understand that if we have 12 divided by 3, and let's just put down the multiplication like this, 4. When we divide by a number, in fact, this is the same as a multiplication. But you have to do the reciprocal of that. So this right here is 12 times 1 over 3. Are we, can we agree on that? Yeah? So you see, if you don't have that, then, if you don't have the times 4, then this is the same as multiply by 1 third. And after that, you still multiply by 4. So therefore, you still proceed from left to right, yeah? So this right here is 4, and then times 4, of course, we get 16. Just like that. Okay, so now, uh, I went over all this, and Going back to the main question, which of this right here is the worst? I personally will go for B, right? I personally will go for B. Yes. And then of course, <laughs> about 70% of you guys go for D. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>